Hi, I'm Cassidy, the homeschooling homesteader, and here is week eight, cycle one for Classical Conversations, the review or tutor ideas. So I'll go ahead and jump into it. Um, we'll start with timeline. The hand motions for timeline are number 50 through 56 if you're using the timeline cards provided by CC. So the first one is Council of Nicaea. You're gonna start with three fingers behind your hand, closest to your body, and then you move it forward into one because this council was um, them actually discussing the Trinity of Christ. So you have three and one right here. Augustine of Hippo, we're going to do an A, and he converted to Christianity, and so Augustine converted. So you're going to flip your hands around and kind of twist them for converted. Um, Jerome completes the Vulgate. We're going to do a J for Jerome. Completes the Vulgate. Um, this was actually when the Bible was written into Greek. Well, the whole New Testament was written into Greek. Visigoths sack Rome. We're going to do a V for Visigoths. And then sack Rome. You're like taking all of the, the goods from Rome. And then the Middle Ages, circa 450 to circa 1500. So for that motion, I just point to the middle of your hand. And then you draw a big circle around your hand. And then you go back and point to the middle. So the Middle Ages, while we're singing even the circa 450 to circa 1500. Council of Chalcedon, I just did a C. And then Western Roman Empire falls to barbarians. Western Roman Empire, I think I did R. Western Roman Empire falls to barbarians. This is the sign for barbarian, like you're showing your muscles. Okay, so we've got Council of Nicaea, Augustine of Hippo, Jerome completes the Vulgate, Physic of Sacrum, the Middle Ages, circa 450 to circa 1500, Council of Chalcedon, Western Roman Empire falls to barbarians. Okay, that's timeline. So moving into math, we did 14s this week. The tune is to Camp Town Races, but in class, we actually used the dice and rolled the dice again. Um, the dice I got from the Target Dollar section, they have little movements on it, like stand like a flamingo, hop like a frog. And uh, we hadn't done the dice in a few weeks, and so the kids were excited. And a lot of my other plans that I had for my subjects um, in week eight were not movement oriented, and so I knew I needed to incorporate some movement to get some wiggles out with my class. And so we did the dice for that. Um, each kid took a turn rolling, and then we all um, sang the song together. 14, 28, 42, 56, 70, 84, 98, 112, 126, 140, 154, 168, 182, 196, 210. Okay, so for history um, this week is, tell me about the age of imperialism. And so um, I have some motions to this song. During the age of imperialism, the British, make a B, the British established rule over India. Um, and Queen Victoria, so you're like crowning yourself Queen Victoria, was declared Empress, I like curtsied, and everyone curtsied, Empress of India in 1877 before his assassination in 1948 Mohan Mohandas we make an m Mohandas Gandhi led the passive resistance so you slowly push your hands away movement so then you kind of wiggle passive resistance movement which helped when India's independence so i have an eye for indian and eye for independence and i have them go in opposite directions okay because india gained their independence so i'm going to try to sing this without the song playing so here we go during the age of imperialism the british established rule over india in 1858 and queen victoria was declared Empress of India in 1877. Before his assassination in 1948, Mohandas Gandhi led the passive resistance movement which helped win India's independence. Okay, so that was history. 
Geography, Indus River Valley. Um, this was actually pretty easy because um, they kind of all make a circle. The Ganges River, the Himalayas, the Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal, the Great Indian Desert. And so I actually pulled out the, um, I have a huge thing of erasers that are all different animals and shapes and stuff. And I found little squirrels holding an acorn and they had little goggles on or they looked like glasses, but I thought they looked like goggles. So since it's fall, I gave everybody a little squirrel eraser and then we took our squirrels on a hike and we started with, um, we were swimming in the Arabian Sea and then we swam around to the Bay of Bengal and then we were sick of swimming and we were kind of cold. So we got out at the Great Indian Desert and we hiked across the desert to warm up. But then we were too hot and so we went up into the Himalayas so that we could cool off in the mountains. And then after we were done hiking in the mountains, we slid down the Ganges River back into the Arabian Sea. And the Ganges River, I called it like a slip and slide because it literally just goes straight back into the Arabian Sea. And so then we just did that a few times um, because it just all worked together with that little story. So, and then science, what are some types of seed plants? Once again, I could not come up with a song because it's so short. Sometimes the things that are short like don't fit in a song. So I just explained over and over like what are some types of seed plants? Monocot, and you hold up one finger. Dicot, you hold up two fingers. And conifer, you do a cone over your head. And so, and I also kind of explained it on the board and drew pictures of examples of monocots and dicots. And obviously conifer is like a pine cone. So maybe that would make more sense for the kids to remember. And then we went over it seven times. So monocot, dicot, conifer, okay? Prepositions of, off, on, and to, out. So the motions for that this week are um, of, it's kind of like an OF and you kind of go up with your eyebrows, of, and then off is like you put your hand on your hand and off quickly, like it's hot, off, on, you actually put it on your hand, and then hang on, of, off, on, on to, out, like get out of here, okay? And then the Latin noun endings this week are again the second week of the third declensions. And so we used our um, Carolyn J. Baltazar, the CC username, is the wonderful woman that created all the things I used for Latin this year. And I use my cheat sheet and I have these little things printed out larger that I have laminated and I sticky tacked them to the board. And since we'd gone over the, these last week and it's kind of like review week for the Latin, I had the kids sit in a circle and we have this little stuffed animal turtle. It's like this big. It's probably from a Happy Meal or something, but it's a little stuffed animal. And they each had to pass the turtle as they said the ending. And so it was like various E's, E-M-F, various E's, E-M-F, various E's, E-M-F, singular third declensions. And then we did plural, which is ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis, ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis, ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis, plural third declensions. And that is Latin for the week. We did another, our second week of Tin Whistle, which went just as great as the first week. Everyone did amazing and listened well and, you know, kept their tin whistles in their laps until they were supposed to put them in ready position. And uh, we learned more about music dynamics this week and the mezzo forte and forte, like the soft to the loud. And I was really surprised how well my kids did with that. We sang louder and quieter as I like flipped through the little cards that I had made with like the PP and the F and the MF and the FF. So all of the signs, they were getting loud and quiet on on command with those little um, flashcards kind of is what I created. And um, I really think they understood the dynamics. So I was really proud of them for that. Um, and then science, we actually did our nature walk this week instead of last week because it rained last week for our campus. Um, and so I created, I had been saving up toilet paper rolls for binoculars and they got to decorate their toilet paper rolls before we went out on our nature walk so they could look for animals with their binoculars. So that's a good idea if you guys want to do that. Something tangible for the little kids to try to keep them focused and like looking for animals, um, having something in their hand. So 
that was fast. I think that's all for week eight. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Have a great week and happy homeschooling.